few years ago, the White Sands footprints in New Mexico became famous for showing that people were in the Americas at least 20,000 years ago. And now those ancient footprints may be associated with the most ancient evidence of vehicles being used. First off, this area has so many of these ancient footprints because th there was a giant lake like during the Ice Age, Lake Otero, Super Lake, it's dried up by now. But there were like dunes next to it and those dunes, minerals would wash into that lake as that lake was drying up and the shoreline was receding for the final time, that really mineral rich sediment would dry up. And if animals had walked across it recently, those footprints would be preserved. Other layers would be deposited over time, but those layers, so that, that really mineral rich layer, it holds those footprints. You can see here in New Mexico associated with these, they have found mammoth and mastodon prints, ground sloths. There've been like huge cats, American lion, the dire wolf. We've got camels in the region. But now back to this picture, you can see footsteps. There's footsteps all over here, but you also see these, these gashes that go right through those footsteps. That is seen repeatedly throughout this area and they aren't all the same. They identified three different types showing three different ways they were using these vehicles. And I say vehicle, but really it's, it's a travoy. It's basically a wheelbarrow without the wheel. So you have these two sticks across, they kind of intersect, and then you can carry stuff as you drag it along behind you. This is a good example of some more recent travois that were used. If you want to learn more about the site, the ancient footprints, the ancient Lake Otero, go to this video right here. You can find the link to all of this in my bio. While you're there, check out my more recent videos. I'm trying to get this launched. I'm trying to create a science news show that comes out weekly and basically takes what I do here over there because I don't know how long I can rely on teaching over here.